Would you look at that? A small rubber ducky. A small distraction from the outside world. A small bathtub buddy. Yellow on white does not work well with text, but why are we so drawn to the sight of a yellow rubber duck on a pale bathtub? We don't care about the tap, about the water. It's just this rubber duck, attracting our gaze despite its color. You wish you were half as attractive as it is. Its uplifting image is designed to make you forget your daily struggle for long-term survival all in the comfort of the only room in your home with no windows. Splish splash. You better get used to it now that the ice is melting. You don't need windows to keep fulfilling your sheep duties. Why are you even reading this? As if there will be some profound insight to the meaning of it all in the character's description of a rubber ducky. Wow, is this your first game? Don't you have anything better to do? I wish I could tell you to get a life, but unfortunately there probably is none by the time you're reading this. Good thing the pandemic just ended the day that we got tired of staying inside and now we can get back to our usual endeavors without spreading the disease and killing old people. Look at its lifeless black eyes. It's like it's seen enough. It's like it's aware of all the destruction that led to its creation. It saw its purpose and just gave up, unable to make a choice of not fulfilling it. In death, it serves. Would it stay here consciously if it had the freedom? I stay here any moment I can, even though I have the freedom. Or at least, that's what I try to convince myself. Any kind of exercising my freedom just seems to have negative consequences. I sure do wonder why. I wonder how much animal death was caused by the factory that produced it. A trace of the true self or something like that. Except in this case, the living creatures were killed for producing something not alive in the first place. A small island of yellow in a sea of white. The whole scene reminds me of a fried egg. Could this embryo have any other fate? Such audaciously interrupted life, even before its beginning. A murder of innocence itself. An unborn creature. A purity sentenced to consumption just for a crime of being nutritious. Done by something stronger than an egg that could not be protected by its mama bird. Should it be envied? This forsaken world seems to reject anything without sin, or that seems at the very least like the most painless thought about its untimely demise. A mockery of a life it could have. It is done as a cartoony caricature of a bird it could be. Maybe the universe does have a sense of humor. I wonder what punchline it sets up for us.
I'm the only one who knows how to program momentum. Really, the bus left earlier than usual, and I was really trying to get on time. the last time, I swear. You aren't even here all the time. You don't know that I'm always late. Failing because of you! Blocking our progress! And you're always late! I'm done with you! You're fired! Hey, are you lost? Wait, so it was you following me in the dark? I'm so, so sorry. You dropped your phone over there and I couldn't get your attention at all. Oh my god, so I did. Sorry for not noticing earlier. Don't worry, things happen. I'm just glad you didn't run away. 
A friend of mine lost hers in a similar way, actually. Rough day. I haven't been able to do anything right since I woke up. First the alarm didn't go off. Then my boss actually fired me. Now it's this whole phone nonsense. I'm sorry, I'm sure you've got your own issues. You don't really need to hear mine. <laughs> it's okay. Today might suck, tomorrow might not. I, I think I'll be on my way now, if that's okay with you. Thank you so much. You really saved the day just then. Perhaps I can also save your socials. You know, so you don't get lost again. 